All right, I'm standing here with Diana, and uh, Diana's a little nervous, so Deb's going <laughs> to kind of coach her a little bit as we go here. Are you? Why are you so nervous, Diana? I don't know. I'm yeah. on camera. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for you to be nervous at all. But uh, anyway, what we've got going on here now, first off, uh, this is a six by 12. Is that mm -hmm. right, Diana? Yep. And how tall is the ceiling on the inside? Six foot. Six foot. Yeah, I figured that out pretty quick because I'm 6'3 <laughs> <laughs> when I stepped inside, but it's perfect for you. Now, for the most part, you built this trailer yourself. Is that yes, correct? Yes, I did. Yeah. You had a little bit of help from Tommy. Yeah. To and Tommy's <laughs> hiding over here. So wave at her by Tommy. But uh, for the most part, you did it pretty much yourself. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're very, very impressed with how it came out. And it's just so cozy the way you have it all set up right here. It's just so neat the way you've got it set up got here. Got our little dinette. Yeah, yeah. So, and this is awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> that yeah. was an accidental find at Walmart for $44. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I've never seen those at Walmart, but it's like a half of an awning. Right? Yeah, it was at Walmart.com. Uh -huh. They don't keep uh, them in the stores. I see. I see. And then you just recently installed this window right here. I did. Yeah. Now, Tommy did help you with that. Is that right? He, he did. He uh -huh. had to cut the aluminum because I don't have the strength to do it. I didn't have strength. I was kind of nervous about it. So I let the professional do it. And uh, and it came out really, really nice. And we really like the way you all went ahead and framed it out and everything. That really makes it look neat. Yep. And where'd that window come from? Um, it came from an <laughs> auction. I paid $13 for it. Ah, Thirteen dollars. It was brand new. Yeah, it no had kidding. one one spot that was dented in. That was it. Well, it really come out nice. And did it did it fit between the the it metal did. studs? It did. That was why I bid on it. Oh, well, <laughs> and that, because it's better. so small, I think that's why nobody else bid on it. <laughs> right, right. And let's see what else have we got to talk about here. I see you got some storage bins right behind Deb right here. Yeah. Ten dollars uh -huh. at Walmart. It's from the, in the baby section, and this thing is handy. It didn't really handle our. It's not standing up as well as I thought it would, but it it has my shoes and oh, and our setup stuff. So like the thing for the oh for the for jacks, the jacks and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Power adapter if we need it. Exactly. Right. So it carries all the things that we might need. Little little bungees to hold things yeah wire bungees these those are, are handy as all get out we've got a few of those ourselves and they're just really really handy they're like uh, uh bread twisties on steroids yep is what they are yeah yep. they're really really cool now i just now noticed this this is a, a what they call a screwless exterior yes which is really clean sides on this now did you buy this trailer new or yes okay you did i bought it new uh -huh. um i bought it from a company up in columbia missouri um but it is a doolittle trailer mm -hmm. yeah i see the the brand name right yeah. there yeah fantastic well let's step on over here to the back to, okay. the, to the ramp here of course you got a canopy set up here i see yep. that it gives mm. us an extra room. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when it's uh, not as cold as it is today, it's, it's pretty handy and nice. And you've even uh, left this open like this. Well, you've pulled the, the curtains around, of course. But yeah. I know when y'all were at the rendezvous, yeah. uh, you were able to, uh, uh, you know, leave everything open and get a nice breeze through here because... Yep. Do you have air conditioning in here? I can't remember. I do not. Okay. Do not. Right. All but righty. we were not uncomfortable at the at the rendezvous uh, well that's fantastic. because we could leave the the gate open ah yeah and that made it a lot nicer and huh? and i have a bug screen that goes across through here i took it off because it's too cold and bulky okay. but it goes on this right here and it goes all the way across and we don't get any bugs in yeah awesome awesome well tell us about this uh ironing board setup that's you got going on right and here how did that come about tommy did a remodel and he he asked if i wanted it and i told him yeah i did <laughs> i didn't know what i was going to use it for and i was playing around with the arrangement in here and i'm like going well i have plenty of room what if i did this and we had to cut it down or i cut it down uh -huh. and um and so now we have that arrangement and it's easy to cook out here because we can just sit there on the sofa and cook <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> and you got a pot of coffee going on I right now. I do, and, I, and I'm going to heat it up here in a minute for well, us. Well, <laughs> which is really handy because it's a little on the nippy side today, it isn't is, it? It is, it is. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, back here I do see that you have an inverter down here. That looks like uh, something you might have picked up at Harbor Freight. I did. Okay. I did. I got it at Harbor Freight. It's a 1500 watt um, inverter. Uh-huh. This is a Bolt silicone salt battery. It okay. works like a lithium, except it doesn't weigh, it weighs a lot more than a lithium. Sure, sure. And tell us a little bit more about what you got going on here. I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. What's this uh, box just right above the battery there? What this is, is the 12 volt fuse panel. Okay, oh, I got you. So All right. that's, that's for the 12 volt. Mm -hmm. And then we have the um, breaker, the 15, 150 amp breaker for the system. Okay. Okay. I'm an isolator, and then I have two um, heavy-duty uh, surge protectors. I got you. So one of them is where I can attach it to the inverter, mm -hmm. and the other one is the power coming in. So the power coming in. Yeah, and you utilize the, uh, the, the vent right there to bring your power in through the vent. I see yep. that. Mm -hmm. And then this is the solar panels that are on top. Okay. And tell us about your panels on top. So the panels, there's two 100 watt um, um, oh, flexible solar panels. I used uh, Slim Potato Head's design that he had on his A-liner to make these so that they could come off, make mm -hmm. this rack so that it'll come off. So this rack is just hasps, and we can pull it down and we can adjust the, the flexible, or the solar panels or add to them or whatever we need I to do. I see, fantastic. So you watch Slim Potato Head, I huh? do. I, I also like. I, su I, I suppose he's your favorite YouTube channel. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't have to say that. Just no, well, no. Actually, who says I, it's us? You know, I, <laughs> I actually do enjoy your channel. You you interview a lot of different people. I love seeing the community. I love how you guys are with the people. So yeah, yeah. I enjoy your your channel. I yeah, watch we, it all the time. We appreciate that, and we really enjoy uh, what we're doing. We truly, truly do. I, and, it, and it shows in your videos. Well, I hope so. I hope so. I, it, to me, it does. Yeah. Well, we hope that's the way they come across. But anyway, one never knows. You know, one never knows. So anyway, and now, what do you usually tow this trailer with? I know that Tommy's got his Toyota. Tommy's got the, to the Toyota. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it's 2,000 pounds. I mean, really? I specifically designed it so it would be light enough that I could tow it with the Jeep. With your... Uh, the Jeep Liberty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, Je the Jeep will tow 3,500 pounds, mm -hmm. but it has an aftermarket uh, tow package on it, so it didn't come factory with it. So I want to keep it as low as possible of because course. it doesn't have the brakes and all that. Okay. However, I do plan on getting R RF brakes. And um, yeah, I look at Tommy because yeah. I'm pretty Tom, sure his head. Yeah, that it's yeah. RF brakes so, it, <laughs> so that um, I don't have to do a whole lot of install okay. for okay. it. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, this is just really cute the way you've got this set up outside here. Uh, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and step inside, or I'll probably just step inside the door a little bit so I won't keep banging my head. All right. And, uh, <laughs> and then we're going to pick it up there. We'll be right back, folks. So here we are uh, looking inside the trailer, and I just got to say, uh, the way you've got it set up here is just really, really cute. And I really like, and even Deb commented on this too, these flickering uh, lights you got here. Where'd those come from? Those are an Amazon purchase. I think I paid $3 for them. No they came in a set of two, and they're USB, so I can plug them into the battery, and they run all the time. Well, they certainly do... Uh, uh, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It really accents the interior. It makes it feel nice and pleasant in here. It's, you yeah. know, that's, that's what I like about it. Huh? Cottage. Cottage. Yeah. Is like a, a cottage. I know Is that it's a word? A, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Like a cottage, maybe, or homey. Maybe that's a better there word. There you go. <laughs> Now, we're not going to step back in there. This is towards the nose of the trailer. We're not going to step back in there, but tell us what you've got going on, you know, on around the corner and all that stuff. Okay, so, so it's a basically a two by two room that I can change in, and then it has a Levio dry toilet that I can pull out 
to use and put back in and then this cabinet being built the way it is underneath it holds my water and it holds um, the the pellets for the dry toilet etc okay all righty and then um, I see you've got like a little counter coming around here mm -hmm. and everything and it sure smells good in here uh, yeah what, what are we doing I made a cinnamon roll okay and tell us about this now this is a uh, what what uh, you, you kind of made that from uh, yeah, well, so, tell me about it. And, uh, me. and so there's an Omni oven you can buy. It costs about $100, $150, and I didn't want to spend that. And it, it's based on, like, having the, the hole in the center and convection going around it to bake with. So I just literally got a bunk cake pan mm -hmm. that would fit in my induction cooktop frying pan. And you, all you do is put it in there and... The induction gives you a temperature, so it's almost like an oven. Okay. So like so like if I turned it on right here, 275, it, that's what I'm going to cook at is 275. Okay. And you bake it for 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, and we had some some of these cinnamon rolls last night, and they were just absolutely delicious. And so you're making some more now. I so am. Are we going to get to have that with coffee here? In yes, a little bit? you are. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, now I know there's a good reason why I came over. <laughs> uh, now, I see uh, you've got your, uh, you know, you've got your insulation exposed here. I do. Like. Uh -huh. I do. And the reason why is I didn't want the weight. Sure. I, because I want to tow it with as light a vehicle as possible. I eventually wanted to do a Prius, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I understand. I understand. But I'm it's still at 2,000 pounds and that's loaded. That's with everything in here. So um, I'm I'm close. I got to get done to 1700. Aha! Uh -huh. So I'm close. Yeah, you're getting close. Now, did this insulation come this color, or did you? It did. Okay. It did. This is a um, halo. Char I, I think it's charcoal insulation system. I see. So halo is is a um, they're they're known for their high R value, and they use they use these in big construction jobs. I just happened to find it at our local Garners, and so that's what I insulated the entire trailer with. Right. So this is behind these walls. Mm -hmm. Now, one of your videos, you showed where these these things conduct right. heat and cold. Right. So what I did is, from watching your channel, was I went, I put all this in between the struts, and then I went over it with Reflectex. Okay. So that it wouldn't conduct the heat. Right. But silly me didn't think about the roof. Well, that can come later. Well, what happened was in the heat, I touched one of these and got burnt. Ah. So I'm like going, okay, I have to do something, but I don't want to cover this. So what do I do? Mm -hmm. I took elastometeric or elasto elastic rubber roofing and I coated it. It's called, I think it's called Easy Cool or something cool. Yeah, I've seen something like that. I think it's like at Lowe's. I've yes. seen it at Lowe's. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I think I got it at Home Depot. Okay. But it, I coated, did two coats on the ceiling. I've never had a problem since. No kidding. Two coats. So yeah. two coats on top of the ceiling helped uh, on, on on top cut of down the, the heat transfer to these. Yeah. yeah. So there's no heat transfer. Okay. Well, at that's all. interesting. That's interesting because we've been looking at doing something like that to our trailer and also to the top of our van as well. Oh, okay. So yeah, that uh, that even makes me want to look at that even more. Yeah. Now. So it's two coats on the roof, and it's wonderful. Well, awesome. Now tell us about your setup here with the bed. Okay. And you were you don't have to break it down and show us, but uh, I see here you've got a basic little inexpensive couch from Walmart. Yep. This Sixty-six dollars from Walmart, flat. and it's a futon. It and it folds flat. Uh huh. And then this is just a um, plywood. One by twos, or I think one by the threes, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I built this, and then this just lays down on top of this. So this is its frame. Right. We so once that's folded flat, it's the perfect height. Once this thing here is folded flat, mm -hmm. so that when you fold the bed down, that supports it. Yep. Right. Exactly. And, and what size is that? A standard size mattress or a futon mattress? Um, you know, you I I, I kind of made it so there's a Japanese futon under and the bottom. 
so I don't, you can't see it. That's but okay. there's a Japanese futon at the bottom, and then this is a full-sized mattress that I cut down to fit on this. I see. So okay. this is four by six, okay. I think. All right. Real close to four by six. Yeah. And I see you got some storage up here yep. above it. These, this, this is an idea I got from Deb uh -huh. when I first met you. And um, she was talking about how she likes the open bins because it doesn't look so crowded with the cabinets. Mm -hmm. So I went down to Dollar General and I bought these baskets and, they, and I put it up on that shelf and I'm like going that way, I like it. Yeah, well, it works really, really well. Yeah, it, and it's hard-sided, so it can hold our bread and all that and not get smushed. There and you go. And it rides just fine. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, and nothing's ever come off. Well, that's cool. And let's see here. I'm going to step on in here a little bit uh, so we can get a shot of everything down the side of this wall. We've got more of the, the, the glittering lights going along there, which is so cool. And you got a little uh, fireplace going here. Yeah, it's an electric <laughs> fireplace. Yeah. Now, does it actually put out heat? Yes. Oh, really? It, it's putting cool. out heat right now. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, it does feel a lot warmer in here. We've got all the windows open, and well, I don't know. I think the temperature is probably around 50 degrees right now, and we got a got a fairly stiff breeze blowing yeah, out there. Yeah, it's pretty cold yeah. out there. Yeah. So, uh, and you were telling me that this, like this cabinet, mm -hmm. and I'm assuming this cabinet mm -hmm. over here. Those came from where? Um, from a, somebody was remodeling, or Tommy was remodeling a old 1950s house, and they didn't like the all wood cabinets. And I'm like, they're going to throw them away in a dumpster. And I'm like, oh, we can't do that. Yeah. yeah. So we brought them home, and I was like, they're going to be too heavy for this. But I didn't care. It worked out <laughs> just great. Well, good. So this is my garage over here. And then that one's my kitchen. Okay. This little garage here, I have a little light. I took out the part of the shelves here mm -hmm. so that I could fit cords and stuff like that in there. Yeah. And it's like my, my garage, so I have my tools in here. Well. <laughs> um, and this is double duty for any of you ladies out there who do any baking. You can take this and you can put a... Um, a whisk on here, uh -huh. and it's it's a perfect mixer. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to. That sounds it's battery like powered. That sounds like something Tim the Tool Man would do. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> 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 and as you know, I don't have hinges on any of my cabinet doors. Uh -huh. No hinges because I want to be able to take them off. Sure. And um, and so they they go together with magnets. Yeah. I like that. And and so in order to get into your cabinet so you're always having to fight with a hinge, I can take and put that anywhere I want to and I can get into here and it has you know our emergency kit and you know adhesives whatever junk stuff we have. I'm going to steal that idea for a couple of openings I have that I'm trying to figure out how to, I really didn't want to do hinges. So, uh, there you go. I'm going to steal that idea. So you, there you go. You, you do that. I'm going to do that. I'm here to inspire. <laughs> Thank you. I, I love sharing. I love sharing. Now let's talk about your little table here. Oh yes. Yeah. So this is another upper cabinet from, from the, the house, the same yeah. remodel. So this is an upper cabinet. And it has some, I have rechargeable batteries and regular batteries, all those little things. Um, this is my Echo Flow. Okay. That was something I got inspired by. Yeah, I ride tiny houses. You guys have an Echo Flow. Yeah, and we really like it. I got the small, I got the one without the battery pack though. I see. The extra battery pack. Mm -hmm. And then this is my linens. Mm -hmm. And then this is a piece of, um, a cabinet shelf that was in in our kitchen and I just took and cut it right down here so it'd have a seam and then the it would look nice so the grain still the continues, grain. right yeah. yeah yeah exactly and then now, this is a hinge from Ace Hardware 10 bucks uh -huh. now you did say you have a water tank so I'm assuming this is where your water comes up yep. for, to use up here yeah okay. this is a rechargeable yeah, a lot of people haven't I have two. I have two three-gallon water tanks that I can fill at Walmart at thirty-nine cents a gallon. Okay. So. 
And that's so and so that's like your cooking water, drinking water, coffee making water, coffee, that kind of stuff. Yeah, everything. Mm -hmm. Right. And then this comes out. The one thing that I didn't account for, because I didn't want to put a hole in this, I wanted to just be able to go dump it, was for the places that you can't dump gray water. Right. So I came up with a different idea. I poured into a bucket that has those pellets in it. Mm -hmm. And then the pellets soak it all and up. And the pellets soak it all up and I can throw it away. Now, is, are you talking about the pine pellets you get at uh, mm -hmm. Tractor Supply? The, the horse pellets. The horse pellets, horse yeah. Bed and those, pellet. those are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We use it, we use them a lot. Yeah. Those yeah, awesome. it, well, and it came from your channel. Well, you guys, how about that? But you guys didn't want to talk about it. And I kept asking, I kept looking and looking. They're not going to talk about their toilet. What are they <laughs> using for their toilet? And you finally said just a very little bitty bit about using the horse pellets. And I'm like, yeah. okay, let's do this. <laughs> well, we found that's the best uh, composting toilet media out there as far it as is. we're concerned. And, and no smell. Uh, it also, uh, we also use it for a Delilah's kitty litter. So do we. And it's the absolute best kitty litter there is. You know, I've never, uh, I have tried everything from crystals to, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. to try and keep the smell down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. These They're, horse pellets have no smell right. whatsoever. And they, and they soak everything up and they, real quick. And yeah. when you dump it, it's a dry dump. Exactly. It's a dry dump. So yeah, exactly. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Best thing going. Best thing Did you on. see your I your we're not camping, we're living? Oh yeah. Yeah. I got that at the rendezvous. I'm yeah. so happy. Well, we're so happy that you uh, that you're happy. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, Diane, I'll tell you what, this thing is absolutely as cute as a button. Uh it's gorgeous. Uh you uh you really did a beautiful job on this thing and we want to thank you for taking the time to show us your creation here oh thank you yeah well you're i sure enjoy welcome. it we uh we're tickled to death and and uh what really tickles us the most is your enthusiasm about uh about what you created here as well and that I, means a lot i love you know? tiny houses and yeah. now i have a little tiny house that can go with me well it's and it's and it's really neat and i'm sure you're going to figure other things you can add to it as time goes on because yep. you're uh you're very innovative and creative, and it's obvious, and it shows. So yeah. there you go. Anyway, we're going to let you go for now. We're going to sign off, and this is Bill and Diana with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know what we're going to say. Yeah. We're not camping. We're living. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.